Wouldn't that make you sad inside? People who feel like this are transgender. No, wrong, not necessarily. Just because, okay, whew, calm down. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Alexis Blake. I'm a trans woman and I share my life stories and opinions on social media. So first things first, I'm spitting. <laughs> That's not first. Before we jump into the video, I do want to explain why there's been a few weeks of a break. I don't know if you're a regular viewer, maybe. Hello. Uh, we've recently been on holiday and we went to Greece, so filming was a bit difficult. I did post some short content, some TikTok content and some Instagram content. I said some of those words wrong. I actually don't know anymore. My voice is going, oh my gosh, it's been like two weeks. I can't do this anymore. Um, should I retire? So hello. We're back, I'm back, me and Liam will be working on a podcast as well, that's coming out later on in the week or next week, so keep an eye out for that. But let's dive into this video. So, first things first, Lily Tino. I have reacted to this content creator before, I've spoken about a misgendering viral video that went round of theirs, hers, but there is another one, and it has had 7.5 million people view it. <sighs> I just can't and uh, well, right we'll watch it and then we'll break it down and then I'll give my opinion on it during the breakdown and yeah because I watched it this morning and I'm not gonna lie it bothered me quite a little bit like let's just dive right in um I go this way oh it's been a while I'm sorry right okay 331,000 followers at the time of recording, 11.2 million likes, and the video we're gonna watch is Trans Miss Rachel. 7.6 million, it's gone up since I watched it a few hours ago. 7.6 million views, okay. So for a little bit of context, there is a TikToker out there called Miss Rachel who does videos for children, babies, toddlers, just to help them learn speech, and things like that. Really interesting, I actually watched a few of them. I'm not a parent, so obviously I don't use that content creator's videos, but I think it's really interesting and she seems very well loved. So Miss Rachel for Littles has 4.9 million followers and her videos get millions of views. She's always wearing the little pink t-shirt, the dungarees and the little pink headband. That seems to be her go-to vibe, which I love. I think the best way to do this, because I know that a lot of times I'll react to something and then I'll keep having to click out of it because I get infuriated. I'm going to be really good. We're going to watch the like minute and video together and then I'm going to go back through it and unpick the parts I disagree with. And there's going to be quite a few, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's do it. Hi friends. Today we're gonna talk about something super important, what it means to be transgender. It's a big word, but I promise that it's easy to understand. Ready to learn? The first thing I want you to do is close your eyes. Now think, do you feel like a boy, a girl, or a little bit of both? Do you have your answer? Great. Now I want you to imagine that everyone keeps telling you that you're something else, even though in your heart, you know who you are. Wouldn't that make you sad inside? People who feel like this are transgender. And if you're not transgender, it's super easy to be friends with someone who is. Let's take our imaginary friend, Theo, for example. One day you notice that Theo starts wearing girl clothes instead of boy clothes. And then they tell you that they want to be called Luna instead of Theo. This is so exciting for our friend Luna because they finally get to be their true self. And if you accidentally call Luna by their old name, make sure to say a big sorry and that you'll do better next time. As you can see, transgender people are just like you and me. They're our friends. Okay, so before we dive into it, the last thing I want to do, just to be completely clear and honest, I do not want to incite hatred or anything towards this content creator. I don't want people to go and attack her and go in the comments because the comments on this video, OMG, we're going to go through them, but while wow, they are brutal. I don't want that. I just want to clarify why I disagree with this as a trans woman myself, because there is quite a few points in there that rub me the wrong way. First of all, first of all, first of all, um, first of all, she she is using another content creator's style, appearance, style of video, the way that they do things to clearly latch on to that. And that's fair enough. She's chosen to do that, whatever. It's a little bit disrespectful, I would say, to the content creator. On the TikTok page, it does say trans Miss Rachel, so it's clearly taking the identity of that person into their own video. It's just cringy. I think before we go into actually what Lily says, I'm going to express that view immediately. In my opinion, without trying to get too harsh, it is just a little bit cringy. And I know it's meant for kids. There's the argument, should kids be seeing things like that? 
quite possibly not. But we're going to now watch it again and I'm going to go through each little bit, which is where I'm going to disagree. So let's do it. Hi, friends. Today, we're going to talk about something super important, what it means to be transgender. It's a big word, but I promise that it's easy to understand. Ready to learn? First things first. <laughs> I am 30 years old. I've been transitioning for three years. I've known I've been trans for probably about 15 years deep down. I still do not know what it means to be transgender. And the thing is with this new woke stuff, I don't even know what words to call it. Everything that's going on on social media in the LGBT community about the trans community, the non-binary community, how non-binary is trans and this and that and this and that. I actually don't know what trans means to people. I know what it means to me. Trans to me means you are born, you feel uncomfortable with who you are and you transition to the other gender. That's trans to me. I don't think that's what a lot of people think it actually means anymore. So it confuses my judgment and I think it confuses maybe people who are watching, hi. It might confuse your judgment, what is trans? Because I don't think anyone actually knows anymore because there's so many different variations to the meaning of what it means to be trans. But it's not easy to know what it means to be trans. And even if you are trans like me, Oh, I'm getting heated. Sorry. It's been a while. I've got all this pent up like whew, frustration. I don't think people know what it means. And do you even know what it means to be trans, Lily? I actually don't know. Let's watch some more. Ready to learn? The first thing I want you to do is close your eyes. Now think, do you feel like a boy, a girl, or a little bit of both? Do you have your answer? Great. Now I want you to imagine that everyone keeps telling you that you're something else, even though in your heart, you know who you are. Wouldn't that make you sad inside? People who feel like this are transgender. No, wrong, not necessarily. Just because, okay, whew, calm down. Just because a child expresses feelings that their gender isn't what they were born as does not necessarily mean that they are actually transgender. As a kid, and I can speak from experience, because we've all been kids, my mind changed a lot about what I liked, my friends, my hobbies, things I had passions about. Everything changed constantly. And I know gender is a huge thing. And you might be saying, oh, Alexis, they can know. And possibly they can know. But I think for a lot of children, I think things change and mold and grow. And obviously, I wasn't a kid with all this stuff going around on social media and on the internet. We didn't have the internet as much as we do now. I think some kids might maybe not be happy with who they are. They might feel uncomfortable and they might maybe latch on to certain trends or things like that. That's just one possible idea that I was thinking about. But I don't think that it's as black and white. It is as yes or no, as if you feel like you're the wrong gender, you are trans. It's not. It's much more complex than that. And it takes a lot of vigorous diagnosis and psychological evaluation to to actually find out the genuine root, which is gender dysphoria. So I think it's quite a blase statement. I don't know what age Lily was making this for, like age of what, who she wanted to view this uh, creepy video, but I don't think little children should be really knowing, because I have nephews. This is the only way I can describe it. They are nine and seven, I believe. Yeah? Yes, they are. So I have two nephews. They are nine years old and seven years old. And I think they kind of have a sense of what's happening to me and how but they don't fully understand it because they're nine and seven. And also they don't care. <laughs> they just know me as uncle and that's absolutely fine. And I've not corrected them or trying to make them call me anything different. They still call me uncle, old name. No problem with that. Maybe when they're older, they might change, who knows. Even at their age, which is, I'd say like an older child approaching the teen years, like the oldest one. And I don't think even he fully understands what it means to be trans. I think he has some semblance of an idea, but I don't think they need to know. They're kids, they just need to be kids. They need to have fun and play and watch TV and just have the enjoyment because once that goes when you become an adult you'll never get it back so I don't think we need to be teaching them that young exactly what it is in detail if that makes sense let's watch some more and if you're not transgender it's super easy to be friends with someone who is let's take our imaginary friend Theo for example one day you notice that Theo starts wearing girl clothes instead of boy clothes and then they tell you that they want to be called Luna instead of Theo. This is so exciting for our friend Luna because they finally get to be their true self. And if you accidentally call Luna by their old name, make sure to say a big sorry and that you'll do better next time. 
Okay, I can't watch anymore. There's only a little bit left. A big sorry if you get someone's name wrong. If a child who probably doesn't understand what's going on and then their friend changes their name and then they get it wrong, they have to say a big sorry. No. As an adult, as I transitioned, I got my name wrong for such a long time and the pronouns wrong by my family and friends and Liam, my partner, for such a long time. Did I ask them to say a big sorry? Absolutely not because it's a transition for me and for them. It's a change. Everything was changing and we shouldn't expect people to know and and instantly be perfect because that's not possible and it's unrealistic, especially with children. Okay, I want to talk about the ethics of this video and I know that's a little bit like, where's that come from? So this content creator, I don't think Lily is stupid. I think Lily is actually, in fact, a very, very, very clever person. Maybe not morally great, but actual cleverness tick because that video has had 76 million views and you can get paid on TikTok and when you go past a certain amount of views and followers and things we get paid on TikTok which is really cool to have 7.6 million views let's have a little quick google search of how much she's made from that video so TikTok pay per 1 million views between 50 cents and a dollar so that means for 1 million views she got 500 to a thousand dollars that video has had 7.5 million views 7.6 sorry so let's do the minimum So Lily has earned between $3,800 and $7,600 on that one video that probably took 10 minutes to film and half an hour to edit. So this is what I mean when I say she is clever because they know what is popular. Trans content being controversial is obviously trending. It's popular. People click on those videos. People stick around and watch it. They share it. She's latched onto that and then she is making the content to go with that towards kids that we all know that when any any trans person makes content for kids or around kids, it's always going to be controversial, like the whole Jeffrey Marsh thing. I don't know if you remember them, him, whatever that was. So it's genius because she's making a lot of money from it. And I think the pronouns I've used for Lily throughout this video, I've changed about 10 times. So I do apologize. Um, that's not very politically correct of me. But before we sign off, <laughs> I want to dive into the comment section because it is, it's bad. It's really bad. Top four comments. You did not just do that to Miss Rachel. Miss Rachel, but make it a horror film. Please not Miss Rachel know what is happening. Miss Rachel could sue for this. If you scroll down a little bit more, the general senses are, it's vile. And this is what really bugs me. I'm sorry, I'm screenshotting so you guys can see on the screen. You are sick, you're sick. Put the fries in the bag. They could never make me like you. If you keep going through, I would say 99% of the comments that I saw as I flicked down were all really bad. And with Lily, obviously, I don't know if she thinks she's making a good impact for the trans community, if she's doing good. Uh, she's obviously making money, which is one thing that's good for her. But this is what ultimately bothers me with certain content creators who are incredibly controversial and transgender. It really bothers me because being a trans content creator, it's already quite controversial as it is because it's a very hot topic at the moment. But then to make content that rubs people the wrong way is always going to create a bad image for trans people. And I've said this so many times before. If someone is remotely transphobic, anti-trans, or has re even just has reservations around trans people, which I know a lot of people do, the content creators like this just reinforce those negative stereotypes and the negative ideology that people have. And it doesn't help us go forward. It doesn't help normalize trans people. It doesn't help but make, see make us just seem like everyone else. It sets us further apart from everyone else, which makes us an easier target for comments like this. And I'm just going to put my phone down now. And I think that's basically me done on it. What do you guys think? Can we have a, a like um, a healthy conversation? Like, I just don't want to slander Lily. Like, I mean, I might have been a bit harsh in the video. So I apologize if I was and call me out on it. But let's have a healthy conversation below. Like, do you think this content was made for attention and money? Do you think that Lily is genuinely trying to help people? Or do you think they're just completely oblivious and don't know what they're doing? There are three things. Let me know below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Videos are back. We will be back regular now. Now we're off holiday. And uh, we will have a video on our podcast coming out in a few days, in a week's time. So I apologise for the little break. Um, our podcast next week, we will talk a little bit somewhere in it about our holiday and the experience I had wearing bikinis and things like that. So stick around for that. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. It really does help me and it's lovely to see people come back and stick around. So thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.